below. Today we are going to speak about Archimedes. Archimedes? Archimedes was born in 287 BC in the city of Syracuse, Sicily. At that time Italy was occupied by Greek colonies. He was a Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor and astronomer. He is considered to be the greatest mathematician of antiquity and one of the greatest of all time. Cool. Do you remember the lever? Well, although he did not invent the lever, he discovered the reasoning behind why it worked, and gave an explanation of the principle of using it. Give me a place to stand, and I shall move the earth with it. Is a well-known saying of Archimedes regarding the lever technology. Wow. Another famous invention by Archimedes was the screw. It was the earliest pump invented. It consists of a large spiral screw revolving inside a close-fitting cylinder. It was used to raise water for irrigation. The lowest portion of the screw just dips into the water, and as the cylinder is turned, a small quantity of water is scooped up. Wow! Archimedes Pi the number pi is a mathematical constant, that is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Archimedes estimated the value of pi, by drawing two polygons around the circle's center. The Osteomahaon is the oldest known mathematical puzzle dates from Archimedes, more than two millennia ago. Archimedes described in detail, piece by piece a dissection of a square into 14 pieces and asked how many different arrangements are possible. This problem was only recently solved and was shows that Archimedes puzzle has exactly 536 solutions. Here we can see 20 examples. I can find all of them. Archimedes had invented a series of war machines. The three most famous are, the claw, the catapult, and the death ray. Archimedes' claw was invented to defend the city of Syracuse. Known as the ship shaker, it is shaped like a crane arm, from which a large metal hook was balanced. When the claw was dropped on an attacking ship, it would lift the ship by swinging the arm upwards and then sink the ship. Archimedes also designed a catapult system to launch rocks, timber, and other heavy objects over the great distance between the city walls, and destroyed the enemy's ships. Archimedes's death ray, utilized concentrated rays of the sun, to set Roman ships on fire. Wow! One of Archimedes' most famous discoveries, is what we call the Archimedes Principle, which he used to measure an irregular solid, using water displacement. There is a famous story surrounding this principle, and it's something like this. Story time! Yes! One day, Archimedes was sent by the king of Sicily to investigate if he had been cheated, by a goldsmith. The king said he had given the exact amount of gold needed for the crown. When the crown was ready, the king suspected that the goldsmith had cheated and slipped some silver into the crown, keeping some of the gold for himself. The king asked Archimedes to solve the problem. One day while taking his bath, Archimedes noticed that the water level in the bathtub raised, and overflowed as he emerged himself into the tub. He suddenly realized that how much water was displaced depended on how much of his body was emerged. This discovery excited him so much, that he jumped out of the tub, and ran in the streets naked shouting, Eureka, which is a Greek word for I found it. He now had a way to measure the volume of the irregularly shaped crown. He discovered that the crown, displaced more water than a chunk of gold of equal weight did. The volume was more because silver is more dense than gold. So the goldsmith had definitely cheated the king. And this is what we call today Archimedes principle. The next time you take a bath you can see Archimedes principle in action. And maybe you will have a genius idea. <laughs> Archimedes died in 212 BC. During the siege of Syracuse when he was killed by a Roman soldier, his last words were, Do not disturb my circles, a reference to the circles in the mathematical drawing, that he was supposedly studying just before he was killed. <laughs>